Hey YouTube, how y'all doing? Welcome to the studio again. Today I'm going to show you how to paint wood pilings or wood posts. Uh, a couple of months ago I put out a DVD on how to paint dead wood and people loved it but I got a lot of emails saying I, I want to put a bird on a post. How do you paint like a, a wood post? Well I just finished a, a painting in the DVD called Serenity's Rhythm and in there I did a lot of uh, wood pilings in the water so what I thought I'd do is post it and show you how I painted those. Now it's very very similar to dead wood with just a couple little twists so why don't we get in the studio and I'll show you how I painted it. Now with our darker color I start painting in the eroded areas on the bottom of the pole. Use your pencil to draw it out. Unless you're a drawing whiz or a painting whiz, I like to make sure that my lines are going in the right direction and going up to the right place before I lay paint to the board. Okay, and now I'm just painting in the very, very deep cracks and I'm not going to uh, go on thick with it because I'm going to go back in and clean everything up. I just want where they are. That's why I drew them in to help me navigate where things are turning. Okay. All right, now I'm just using the base color to paint in this major line. You can see I've drawn it out. Okay, so the more I thought about it, the more I think it needs to come in more here. So I'm just going to nudge it in a little bit. And again, I'm not going with the dark color as far over as the dark actually goes because I need a transition color between the highlight and the dark shadow so you don't have this hard, 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 hard chain transaction there, okay? All right, so you can see here what I've done is I've taken this base and I've added in a little bit of titanium white and then some uh, phthalo green. And why I'm doing that is that this is a uh, circular, a cylindrical uh, a shape, so it has to turn. So to get a backside, we have to change some something, some attribute of its color or its shape or its value. And when I look at the reference, I see a lot of uh, greeny blue reflection catching the water and that. So I'm just dry brushing some of this this alternate color in so that it kind of turns. Okay. Alright, now with our darker value gray, we start creating a little bit of the wood texture. So this is more of a dab and pull and dab and pull and dab and pull and dab and pull. Okay, I want to get some reflective green in here too. And why I'm doing that is it just, it's creating a unison and it's given a little bit of a change of color and its shape, subtlety shape changes. So don't, don't overdo this. And to get different ridges, like different subtle changes in the wood, I've created a third color which is just taking the base and adding in some titanium white and some uh, uh, cerulean blue. But you can see that the value is staying almost identical. It's just the actual hue or the color that's changed. But when you squint, you can't really see either or. It's because they hold the same value on the, on the value scale. And the darker our value change is, the deeper cracks in the wood will be. Okay, so now I'm moving to the top, using with the darker color again. Start blotching in some of the wood texture. And I'll zoom in tight so you can see what I'm doing. Texturize. Texture-wise, put holes in the wood. Okay, 
Let's create some back lane. Now I just added a little bit of Mars black into the base color to create some under shadows. Now remember all your lines they'll continue down into the raw areas. Again, I'm not, I really don't want to do a straight hard line down here because the wood's all frayed and okay, get you some more in. Okay, so now we put in some highlights and all I did is take the uh, base shadow, added a little bit of titanium white and uh, the, um, what you call it, the uh, <laughs> phthalo green. Just dry brush some of this in and then I'll go and break it up. And I'm actually going to dry some, dry brush some down in here too, so the color kind of transits naturally from the rotted into the broken up. Okay, now I'm going back in with even more Mars black in the black to make a very deep, deep, deep crack. Just going in wherever I want it to be a deep, deep crack. And just so we have different levels in our wood, I'll put some top strokes on some of the areas. Not, uh, not all of them. If you do it on all of them, then they're all the same height, right? You just want to bring out a couple and make them higher than the other ones. See another one right here. Alright, so now we have the fractured wood here we're just catching some light on the old broken up edges and catch some edge here Okay, so now I took some of the uh, base blue and the highlight color, this highlight warm, and a little bit of cerulean blue and mix them together. This is how we'll make a transition. So right now I'm painting in the knot that's in the wood and I'm using the uh, orangey color the, the bright the bright orange color okay. I'm just making a circular shape we're just gonna bleed blue mixture into the into the whites and like everywhere else if you go in with a little darker color you deepen the this is just like anything else just keep going back and forth darks and lights prepare an area and break it up
I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually get rid of this layer color. Don't like it. I'm gonna go with the darker color, then break it up again. Now we add in a little bit of accenting, and what this is is cerulean, pure cerulean blue and titanium white. And we're just gonna make a beautiful looking little pure blue. It's down along here. The whole thing is, is that once it's broken up, or once it's um, laid down, you can start breaking it up, and it all just within seconds looks like it's becoming wood. A little darker in the middle of this one. Just makes a little split. Don't put the dark all the way up. Just put it in the middle and it makes it look like it's split a little bit better. And to bleed these in, we'll make some pure cerulean blue and uh, titanium white. Just to work in the highlights from one, from the lights, the warms to the darks. Same pure whites up here. Or uh, pure whites, sorry. The mixture of the uh, cerulean. And I'm going to dry brush this in. And use the old dry brush it in and then go up, go in with the darker color and break it up. You can warm up this color and put a couple of highlights in there. So on the top, we can just put a couple little pings where light is just ever so slightly catching. on a couple spots it could come in its following the perspective just makes them deeper than a couple of the other ones all right and last but not least this is looking very linear linear so I'm gonna put some holes in the wood you know because there's got to be some knots here and there not too many of them just one or two So there's our uh, wood pylon and uh, it's looking very grainy. It's got a nice source between warm and cool. It's rounding nicely. So I'd stop here. We might detail it a little later, but remember we don't want to go too far, too fast, we'll wait to the end. So now we can move on and uh, I'll quickly finish up the, the other three pylons and uh, do them exactly the same as we did right here.